Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this will be part 12 of Broken Pieces. We have done it, we have made it to the end. It wasn't a perfect game, it wasn't a complete game, but we, or playthrough I should say, but we have made it. Let's go one more time. That's a lot of reading to do in one night. The documents I found at the top of the bell tower are incredible. It's clear now that the whole cult thing is based on the observations of a very talented ornithologist. This person knew a lot about nature and how to monitor changes happening throughout the region. He made precise observations regarding birds' behavior and, apparently, the tide changed its rhythm? It became unregular and seems to get further and further from its synchronicity with the moon. He also mentioned the fountain's water. Apparently it comes from a very deep source under the ground. He believes the water touches these blue rocks that are responsible for what's happening here. His theory is that something made these rocks resurface because of... a mining process happening under the sea? He installed something to stop the water in case it was dangerous for the population. But the snow probably broke it, and that's why it's back. I also found different maps regarding the sea depth at large of St. Axel. He was particularly interested by three wide cavities. I took the maps with me, but they are drawn on transparent material. I will need the projector in the basement to display them. Based on his observations, I believe he predicted the location of the water columns? Feels like he knew already that these columns would be there. Or maybe it's just the fact that the birds were attracted by that very spot early on? He had everything under his eyes. But the cult took everything and put it to bad use. And what for? Sending a message to a divinity with the lighthouse equipment? Maybe I could use that equipment too and send a signal to finally know what's hidden down there. If I use the encrypted tape the spy left to spot where the submarine has been in the ornithologist map's region, maybe I can pinpoint a location where to send the signal to? I need to check these tapes and see what I can find. Okay, so I feel like let's go at least start with the projector and look at the maps. But it does sound like there's more tapes that I need to listen to. It's missing some points. I should continue decrypting the tapes. Okay. Um... That's Pierre, journal, found tapes, journal, water columns maybe? Did I ever tell you about the sea column? It's the only thing I like about this hell. If you could see them, you would love them too. These are huge columns of water that start from the sea and rise slowly towards the sky, to infinity. They exude a feeling of quiet strength, serene power. They carry with them rocks which gravitate alongside them throughout their ascent. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel almost calm looking at them. Still, I don't think we should be fooled by their placid appearance. Inside, thunder and flashes rage silently reminding us that they are inhabited by a formidable energy. Moreover, they also emit strange and deaf noises, like a, like an animal cry or a, a complaint. Anyway, I'm not the only one to be fascinated by this show. Birds and seagulls are attracted to these columns and flock to their base by the hundreds. They fly around for hours, as if waiting for something. 
I'm always afraid they'll get caught, but the columns are gentle giants. One thing is certain. I will continue to admire them from the cliff. It's missing some points. I should continue decrypting the tapes. So it said decrypt tapes at certain locations. So, decrypt tapes at different coordinates. What coordinates are we talking about? It's missing some points. I should continue decrypting the tapes. Okay, I didn't realize... Let's listen to what the Rorqual cell recorded at the coordinates found by the ornithologist. I'm sure it's just a big fish. Didn't realize this was a tape decoder. Um, okay. How do I use this again? Is that what I'm looking for? I'm gonna say yes. Oh, do I need to put the tape in? Oh, what have I just done? Okay. No, ah, stop. A fisherman? Not really interesting. I mean, are these things important? Okay, so we're going through them one by one, gotcha. <laughs> Chipmunk? Ooh, an eye immersion. Okay. 
think I want to say I'm getting the hang of this, but don't quote me on that. Dolphins. But that doesn't help me much. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Oh, I hear people. Oh, is this not the raw cow? Three coordinates validated. That should help me pinpoint the location. Let's use these okay. maps on the projector now. We. I have all the points now. Let's try to make one of these maps fit. One of what maps? What am I making fit on what? Oh, there's multiple slides. Oh, chasms. I mean, there's a giant question mark there. That's it. The first coordinate is when they approached the area and detected something with their instruments. Then they circled around the ghost ship and sent out a probe, which never returned. The last recording was when they decided to go deeper and something went very wrong. Bastards. Let's send a signal over there and see what's under the sea. To the lighthouse. Well, okay then. Still no number plates. Be hilarious though if I've walked past them like five times. Um, what would be the fastest way to the lighthouse? I think going around this away. Give it a couple of days though, and I'm sure someone will have posted online where these stupid number plates are. And I'll check it and see it and just be like, I am such a fool. signal to something? To some place unknown? Doesn't sound too scientific, Elise. Let's hope I don't end up like a submarine. Gonna demand the death of everyone in the town? Maybe that's what set them off. It's discovering this giant thing under the sea. Oh, yep, through the door. You'll get there one day, Elise. Um, how do I send a. Send a thing.
Oh, okay, it's starting up. I was like, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> uh, enable, yes. Oh. Uh, wee! Wee! I'm assuming everything should be okay. We. Moment of truth. What? Okay, there's an error. Do I have to do anything? Hold on, so the error, instable, critical, station control, something, something, antenna? Where do I need to go? There are the stairs, I missed them. <laughs> I thought the stairs had gotten knocked off. Oh, we're stuck. hilarious if we end up back at the beginning. Twelve forty two. Twelve forty two. It's the exact time of the attack. Did I fix it? Oh I mean I do hear firing in Jank. Oh is she gonna die? Is that what the new the upgraded gun at the cafe would have saved her from. I just want to check supplies. Uh, oh, can I take that one? Thank you. And let's stitch things. I still have an axe. What am I supposed to be doing with this axe? I think I'm going to have to read up on this story to understand exactly what that ending was supposed to signify because I've got nothing. Um, I don't even know if she got out of her little 
time dimension situation or if she was forever stuck there did she just free the monster and therefore that saved everyone I don't know it's apparently all just gone over my head so <laughs> can't really comment on the story so much I think it was a good game um, the sort of running backwards and forwards kind of got a bit annoying but I guess that part and parcel of a game like this um, sorry those pictures of her made her look really weird <laughs> just two that they decided to put together then oh wow oh, I love seeing these sort of the levels in design situation that's amazing good on them um, yeah, so like gameplay wise it's okay once you know what you're doing and once you get the hang of all the puzzles and jank and you can sort of put all the pieces together but there were definitely moments where I was just like what the mess is going on and even with the number plates I'm sure there's a very simple solution to that and the fact that I missed the last lever that kind of irritated me as well but got through it got to the end oh they used motion cap Oh, that's kind of neat. That explains, because I was thinking when she would jump off the ledges and stuff and she would sit down and push herself off, I was like, they captured that really well. And I guess that would be why. Okay, so me from the editing future, I had a quick look online and so far there's not much out there and I guess that makes sense because the game's only just come out. There were a couple of reviews which I had a bit of a skim through and I do have to admit that I agree with a lot of their critiques and also the things that they've highlighted so far in the game. It's good to kill some time with if you enjoy puzzles and running backwards and forwards if that gives you any sense of satisfaction. Um, go for your life. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I'll be playing this anytime soon. Um, but thank you all for watching, whoever has been. As always, I greatly appreciate it. And on that note, I'll see you in the next game. Bye!